What's up, YouTube? This is gonna be real raw. No matter what you're trying to do, this thing is what you must do to move forward. To get to the next level, this is like the big bad boss that you have to beat. This unlocks the next level every time you do it in your life. If you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to get better, if you're trying to get better at sport, a hobby, anything, this thing is going to make you better if you do it, and it's gonna keep you stuck if you don't. Real quick, just to get into it, if you aren't taking risks and challenging yourself, doing things that make you uncomfortable on a daily basis, even just a regular basis, you're gonna stay in the same place. And what we found, what is almost a constant of the universe is, when you stay in the same place, it's not just like chugging along the same place. It tends to be a downward slope. Na 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 So same place for most people is actually regression. To make it upward sloping, you know, more, better, more results, whatever it happens to be, you have to be doing things that are challenging the status quo. And for the individual to unlock that next level, you have to be going out and doing the things that are uncomfortable, that you don't want to do, or that you're not good at. And usually what happens, the very thing that you don't want to do the most, or that you're the most uncomfortable with doing, is the very thing that is like the big bad boss to the level you actually want to go. Maybe a good analogy is like Super Mario. There's shortcuts in the game, and if you can somehow jump on top of the thing, and like go far, and then you get to the next level or whatever, there's definitely shortcuts here, and there's also the long way, where you go through every level to get to the end. Now, for most of us, I would highly, highly recommend doing the shortcuts whenever you can, because life is short, you never know what's gonna happen. You'll be dead tomorrow. Your family could be dead tomorrow. A nuclear bomb could be dropped on us or wherever tomorrow. Anything can happen. Don't fall into uh, recency bias or the, the one bias about history. People tend to think that what has happened will keep happening or whatever. Like, no, the future, anything can happen. You know, then you get into ideas like black swan, et cetera. Okay, so anyways, to get back on point, how does cutting forward, how to skipping levels, how's that gonna help you? And what's the analogy here? Well, it's this. When you jump forward and you go to those levels, to do that, to, to win that way, you have to seek out the things that are the most difficult for you, that you're the, the, you most don't wanna do, because that's how you skip ahead. Because if you do the thing that you most don't wanna do, that is most uncomfortable, or that you're the weakest at, you're gonna get the most result from that. This is the idea of risk versus reward. The more you risk, the more reward there is. They're exactly equal. If you invest a lot of money and you take a big risk with that, or if you take a risk on something that has a very low probability of succeeding, you get a big return back because you took that risk. It's the same way for the person. Find the things that you really, really don't wanna do. And go and become so good at that thing that it's a thing of the past, and that you're a pro at it. That your weakness is now your strength. The really great people of the world that accomplish anything, they do that. They actually take the things that they're probably weak at or they were weak at and they turn them into strengths. And then of course, you know, flip side is the things you're good at, double down, go hard daily, <laughs> get results, just do it. And a lot of people don't even do that. They're not even capitalizing on their assets. They're not capitalizing on their opportunities because you know, maybe they're afraid of something or maybe they, maybe they don't want to be judged or whatever it is. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Find out what it is for you. If it's dating, it's gonna be going out and talking to a lot of people, going on a lot of dates, putting yourself out there, being vulnerable, et cetera. If it's at your work, ask for the raise. Make it apparent that you expect to be rewarded the more you put out. There's always something. Depends on what it is for you. And then do it get the results, and then ask yourself the question, what, where's the big boss for the next level? Like and subscribe.